Some say that in the very beginning of all things, millions and millions of years ago, there was first darkness. Out of the darkness jumped chaos. And out of the chaos came nature. With Persona, what I wanted to look at was that layers that we place between individuals in a cultural, social setting. I just wanted to interrogate that. And these are layers that are often opaque, populated with bias, um, you know, our supposition, our assumption. And we were going to do that exploration with a group of 10 art makers with intellectual disability, ultimately ending up in what you see here today, which is an interactive visual art presentation under the subject of exploring these layers and this notion of persona. When you come into the space, you're given a smart device, an iPad, and you have a set of headphones, and you can interact with the physical elements that are in the space, which are these 10 portraits. Through that interaction, layers will become visible in your present reality. It's just about starting that dialogue between focusing on how we see someone. Purpose, I think, of you know, the main sort of interactive element, or what, certainly what I was trying to discover was, um, you know, what's it like to truly see someone? What's it like to truly see when we peel back the layers that we've created, possibly? Well, there are many things in the space. Some are real, some are not real. But one of the things that's actually physically here is the 10 portraits of the 10 participants. It was crucial for me that we made those in a very authentic manner. And what I mean is no digital manipulation. So the process for making those is that they were made in the moment. They're a dynamic collaboration between myself, between our costume designer, Sharon Gillam, uh, and the performer. And between all three of us, um, you know, we made these unique portraits in the moment. We had about two hours for each one. So it was me responding to how they moved and performed with these physical gestures that we had already workshopped. We were shooting these portraits through a material frame, which was a response to their drawing. And then they were being dressed organically and with some stewardship in the moment by Sharon and her costume team. Well, we worked with some students from the um, university here in Galway to create a kind of jumpsuit that the performers wore, which sort of indicated the state of chaos. And then Martin asked me to create um, some kind of costume add-ons, pieces that could be added to the performer on the day that were made out of all different kinds of materials, but that had some connection to the drawings that had been done by the performers. We created some sort of angular shapes for certain of the characters and some soft spirally shapes for others, depending on who the character was. And we worked with Lily Bailey, who's a textile artist, to create a screen that was going to be put in front of the performer, between the performer and Martin with the camera, which again had a connection to the drawings that each of the performers did. So we interpreted their drawings and came up with an image that was a development, basically, of their drawing that would also reinforce the idea of their character. As part of this exhibition, 10 pieces of music were created to accompany the 10 elements that we find in the space. A group from uh, the That's Life music programme collaborated together to create these pieces and each one was created initially by making live recordings of us playing music and some of the pieces you hear that are more melodic are direct excerpts from those jamming sessions so to speak and then some of the pieces that you hear that are more abstract are sounds that we manipulated and turned reverse, turned inside out, added a lot of effects to to create the, the atmosphere that was required for the exhibition. 
it's been great to see uh, the engagement from the public and from people from the Brothers of Charity Services, um, people with intellectual disabilities engaging with the work and being surprised by the work and really enjoying the, the interactive element. We're, we're challenged to, to view things literally in a different way through the technology um, that's used for the experience but also to consider the layers that are between one person and another and, and how we might sometimes reduce people to a character or a 2D version of, of what they really are. And, and this exhibition is inspiring us to, to see beyond that and to appreciate in some small way the depth of character that we all have.